Alright, what's up everybody? It's Shinerd. I'm back with another video on how to host a dedicated unturned server. It's honestly really simple. Um, I'll just kind of walk you through the steps. It's best to do this on a virtual machine just so you can play it on your normal computer. Like I have a virtual machine set up right here just to show you guys how to do this. So I'll run you through the steps real quick. Uh, let's see. News. These are the commands you're going to want to use to set the server up. And to get to where you need to put those command in, commands in, you go to properties, set launch options. Okay, and then go back to the, the news so you can look and see how you want to set them up. So when you're doing this, first you pretty much decide which ones you want to do. Like, right, I'm going to do uh, not the arena server, but the, the other one, PEI. I don't even know what the fuck it stands for. And then dash normal, and then sync, and let's see, PVE pass is LOL dash port. The port is two five four four four, and then players. Uh, I do eight, and then as you can see right here, it says after those configuration arguments you can add dash sv which is to, to launch the server so you put that in and the way this works on your normal computer you're gonna launch it and when you hit play it's automatically gonna put the server up you're not gonna be able to play on this this main computer or wherever you have this this set up it'll just make it as a de dedicated server just like any other dedicated server you can't plan on it it's just a server so that's pretty much it the way I have it set up and uh, I'm going to close that out real quick. I have it set up on a virtual machine, which is the same as a normal computer. It's a computer inside of a computer. So you can do stuff like this. But I have it set up the exact same way. And you can just make a random account to do it. Set launch options. It's the same thing. You obviously have to do a couple different things setting this up. You have to forward the, the 25444 to your virtual machine. And uh, if you already have a virtual, machi virtual machine set up and you don't know how to forward the port, Pretty much all you do is pretty much the same as before. You got a network adapter. Make sure you click bridged, so it, it sets it up on the same or network that your computer's on. Then you're gonna want to go to start uh, CMD and IP config. You're gonna have the same default gateway as you normally do on your regular computer, but as you can see the the port you need to forward right here, the IPv4 address, is going to be different. So you just forward that port, and that's it. I have this running in the background while I play on my main machine, or on my on my main unturned. And when I want to get off, I can close that and leave my virtual machine running with the server up on it so other people can still connect to it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and comment, and make sure you thumbs up the video. I don't know why people were thumbs down in the video about hosting an unturned server and how to port forward it, but it's whatever. Um, also, check out my Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash nerd92. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. If you Also, if you have any other questions about this, uh, make sure you ask. If you need a tutorial on how to set up a virtual machine, I can give you a link to it. Same one I used. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Um, I figured I'd add this on because I forgot to mention it when I made the video. When uh, all this stuff is interchangeable, you don't have to, obviously, you don't have to do the PEI or the, you can pick between the, these two, the arena or the PEI or the gold all the way up to normal right here. You, you can pick any of those. PVE, sync, no sync. That, that's all interchangeable. It doesn't matter which ones. It, it's preference. When you're connecting to the server, the IP address you're going to use is the one that you find on ipchicken.com. Obviously, there's other websites you can use to find it. But that's the, the IP address you're going to want to give your friends so they can connect to the server or if you want to connect to it from your, your unturned on your non-virtual machine. You can also do all this stuff. You can also host all this on a laptop, another computer you have at your house if you use it for other servers, anything like that.